All right, we got just two games left, and this one's a good one in the Mountain West. Uh, the team in Connor's backyard, the UNLV Rebels, they just keep on impressing, uh, taking on the Air Force Falcons, UNLV, or sorry, Air Force rather, a three-point home favorite, 47 the total. The money's come in on UNLV. This opened four, it's down to three. Uh, people not impressed with Air Force the last couple weeks, and I can't say I blame them. I mean, they got drilled by Army. That was a stunner. What were they, 18-point favorite? They lost the game outright to Army a couple weeks ago, and then I saw that offense struggle to move the football on the island against Hawaii uh, last week, and they didn't Insane. even come close. Yeah. yeah. Hawaii good. defense like that? Yeah. What the? <laughs> yeah. That was surprising. That was. And that's now two weeks in a row. The, this looked like a, an offense with Larry or a quarterback. The, the option attack couldn't be stopped, and suddenly they play Army in Hawaii, and they've scored 16 points, you know, in the last two games combined. Uh, and 0-2 straight up, 0-2 against the spread. Losing outright as 20.5-point favorites to Hawaii and then to 18-point uh, favorites before that to, to Army. I got to look UNLV. I, I got in on some UNLV here. Um, all you've done with UNLV this year, if you back them, is cash tickets. Barry Odom, I mean, one of the great coaching jobs in all of college football this year. 8-2 and two straight up, 9-1 and one against the spread. They found Mayava. They're a young quarterback who keeps getting better. Their defense... Mm -hmm. um, at times has been shaky, but more often than not, this has been a much improved UNLV defense. That's two weeks in a row. They shut down New Mexico and Wyoming in each of their last two wins. Really the only teams they've given up big points to are, you know, Vanderbilt out of the SEC and Fresno, who actually have a pretty good offense. They played good defense outside of that this year, UNLV. The key is the run defense. How do they do they against guess. the run? And UNLV's mm -hmm. run defense has been very good, you know, 124 rushing yards per game allowed, just 3.7 yards per carry allowed. That's 35th in the country. Yards per carry allowed on, with their run defense. That's what you want to see when you're playing Air Force. So, yeah, UNLV for me. What do you think, Connor? Yeah, I was going to hit all the Rebels. Uh, talk of the town here in Vegas, Babano. I haven't seen it at all. I, I've been here my, my whole life, basically. I know they had one good year maybe even two when Robinson was the coach. Uh, but Barry Odom, he's just done a hell of a job. What's going on with Air Force? This is, though, someone just put it, there's a lot on their plate. They have really slipped up the last few years, Babano, right now, kind of in November. You know, they've gotten to these that great starts. 100%. Yeah. Yep. And they just, like, hit a wall a little bit. Yeah, you and you touched on it because that's what I wanted to hit on. Air Force, we know, 275 on the ground. And UNOV has been pretty good. It's been uh, their second there I've talked about. That's a little bit leaky. Air Force doesn't throw it. Yeah, get the hook, I think. I think this is a close one. And I think UNOV and Barry Owen has these guys because this is a game that they've had trouble with. Air Force has kind of owned them a little bit, as bad as UNOV has been the past few years. So I think it's close. I think you just got the way Air Force has looked. Um, this is a game you take UNLV. Just been money, too. 9-1 and one, what, ATS this year. Yeah. I don't want to be jumping off. All right. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's this air. All they've, all they've done is go eight and two straight up, nine and one against the spread this year. I think they are the single best point spread team in college football this year, UNLV. There's the whole running here, uh, the weather. One thing with UNLV, that game got out last week and then stalled. They've been pretty good to the over. I'm going to look at the total a more. It's nice weather, though. The wind, yep. 10 miles an hour, 57 degrees. I'm going to look at the total. I don't know if I mess with it. But, yeah, I think if you get the hook, take the Rebels.